It seems like practically every automaker and supplier is developing some sort of electric skateboard chassis. They all look practically the same, though one company called Re Automotive has come up with an ingenious design that is radically different. First things first, a quick overview. Re Automotive was founded about 10 years ago and it's headquartered in Tel Aviv, Israel, though they also have an engineering and production center in the UK, as well as another facility that just went up in Austin, Texas. Re is focused on building all electric skateboard chassis for class one to class six commercial vehicles. Basically, other companies will handle making the bodies that go on top of these chassis, though they will offer one cutaway vehicle, their P7 box truck. Basically, what they want to do is sort of be the intel inside, if you will, of the electric commercial vehicle market. Now this right here is what sets the company's chassis apart from others. This is the re corner module and basically what they've done is they've pushed everything out to the very edges of the vehicle to improve interior space. And they tell me that compared to a comparable combustion powered vehicle, this design can increase interior volume by 20 to 30 percent, which is absolutely huge. And what you can see is they've packaged everything right into this corner module. That includes the braking system, the suspension. Around here we've got the control unit. There's the electric drive motor and then the steering system. It's all packaged right here. And of course, there is redundancy baked right into this design. They have double motors for the steering system. They have extra microcontrollers. And of course, all of the software is backed up as well. Now, as you might imagine, there is no physical connection between the steering wheel and pedals and the re-corner. All of that is handled electronically. Also, they decided to go with a traditional drive motor mounted directly to the chassis here instead of a hub motor that would be out here. And they did that because apparently hub motors do have some durability issues and of course they add undesirable unsprung mass, which you always want to minimize if you can. But what happens if there's a problem with a re-corner? Well, I'll tell you right after this. If you operate a fleet of EVs, you need wireless charging. This groundbreaking technology not only saves money, but it improves safety and efficiency. With no clunky connectors or cumbersome cables, there's nothing for employees to wrestle with or trip over. Saving time, electricity technology means you can charge while other tasks are taking place. Load cargo or do some cleaning all while the battery soaks up electrons. For more information about Ytricity wireless charging, scan the QR code or follow the link in the description box below. Okay, maintenance and damage. If you break a steering actuator or bend a control arm, the system is smart enough to compensate so you can probably finish your delivery route assuming you are driving a commercial van. If something more catastrophic happens, the system can also compensate enough to the point where you'll be able to drive off to the shoulder or maybe even pull into a parking lot where it's much safer. Preventative maintenance is baked right into this technology as well. If there's an issue with, say, system A, it's smart enough to know that there might be problems with system B, C, and D down the road, so it can alert fleet managers to nip problems in the bud. If repairs are needed, there are no spare parts for the re-corner. Basically what you do is replace the entire unit. Believe it or not, it only takes about 20 minutes to unbolt one of these and install a new one, and then it's roughly 40 minutes or so to bleed the brakes and do all of the necessary software checks. But even if you have a catastrophic failure out in the field, you can be up and running again in just about an hour. Interestingly, each re-corner is symmetrical, so this unit can be installed at any quadrant of the vehicle and it will work perfectly fine. Damaged re-corners will also be sent out to be rebuilt or refurbished as necessary, just like you would a starter or alternator today. Unfortunately, you can't buy a re-corner equipped vehicle just yet, but production is expected to get underway in the second half of 2023. Now, the company will have the ability to assemble about 10,000 of these vehicles at its facility in the UK, running at one shift, though vehicles for North America should be sourced from the company's factory in Austin, Texas. Next, if you're in the market for an all-electric commercial van, watch our video about the new Mercedes-Benz eSprinter. This vehicle offers impressive capability and the range will probably be better than you might expect, so click right over there to give that feature a watch.